So I think my last couple of videos have kind of hinted to the fact that my life right now is basically a giant dumpster fire. So I careened into the sidewalk. Someone threw up on her cast. And now that I have graduated college and need to be a functional adult, it's probably time that I tried to change that. So I've seen a ton of YouTubers post videos about manifesting your goals and your dreams and the magic of vision boards and how it plays into your subconscious and helps you to finally achieve all of the dreams that you have had and it sounds like a load of bullshit so naturally I'm gonna try it. So that's what this video is gonna be. I'm going to sit here and make a vision board and see if it makes my life any less miserable. Let's start manifesting our goals. Now I'm gonna pull out my little notebook because before this video I watched probably about 10 and I'll link some below because they're probably gonna be much better at explaining this than I am. And let me just pull together some of what I gathered. Goal manifestation or vision boards spur from the idea of law of attraction. So the basic idea of this is that when you surround yourself with subconscious images, your brain starts to pick up on them and then starts to incorporate habits and sort of lifestyle changes that strive towards meeting those goals and those things that you see every day. So by creating a vision board, you're kind of telling your brain like, hey brain, these are the things I want, make this shit happen for me without me actually realizing that I'm making this shit happen for me. Some of the other things that I gathered from my various amounts of research is that you want to use more images than words. So you could print out like key phrases like travel or like eating healthy, but you want to mainly stick to visuals and pictures because those more readily enter into your subconscious. Another thing that is important is the placement of where you want to stick your vision board. So the idea is that you want to stick it in some place that has like positive vibes for you, not some place where you're always like stressed or freaked out. And also you want to put it somewhere where you're basically going to see it every day because the more often that you see the vision board, I guess the more likely you are to start incorporating habits that make you strive towards the goals within your vision board. One last thing that you should want to do is rather than focusing on sort of pictures of specific people that you want to strive towards or specific ideals that you want to have, you want to stick to more feelings and emotional responses to what your goals will give you. So basically, instead of like posting 900 pictures of Alexis Ren because she's hot as shit on your vision board, you're going to want to put in words like confidence and strength and healthy, things like that. Things that you can sort of strive towards and that will give you internal pleasure and satisfaction rather than external pleasure and satisfaction. So yesterday I went to Target and like the universe was sending me a sign. There was this beautiful little magnetic whiteboard almost on sale and I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna buy it and we're gonna see if any of this hokey nonsense actually works. So I bought it. And now today we are just going to sit here and make my vision board and see if it creates any sort of positivity in my life. Okay, so step one, all you're really going to need is a bunch of pictures that somehow relate to what you want your life to be. So for example, I want to start eating a little bit cleaner because you can't really survive off of buffalo chicken and nacho fries for the rest of your life. So I'm going to try to incorporate some fruit into my diet for once because I don't want to die at the age of 43. So I went on Pinterest and I just looked up like keywords like eating healthy, acai bowls, things like that. And then I found a couple and I saved them and I printed them out. Another big one, for example, is that I want to start traveling more. So I looked up like travel destinations and my number one bucket list place to visit is Spain. So I looked up Spain and I found some beautiful pictures of that. Save those, printed them out, we're good to go. So now comes the fun part, which is assembly. Once you have the board that you want to put everything on and all of your pictures and words printed out, now you're just going to sit down and you're going to arrange them into whatever you find aesthetically pleasing because we're all here for the aesthetics. 
and then you are just basically going to attach it all. Now let me just give you a look at what my final vision board ended up looking like. So now that your vision board is fully assembled, now you just got to find a place to put it where you're probably going to see it every day. The idea is that the longer that you see it and the more often that the images enter into your subconscious, the more likely these dreams and goals of yours will be manifested into reality. Alright guys, and that is actually it. So if you found any of this even moderately entertaining, make sure to hit that like button. If you also enjoyed it, feel free to subscribe, feel free to comment if you have any other video ideas. Uh, I'll leave my social media links below. I'll also leave a lot more much, much better vision board videos down below to check out if any of this at all interested you. And yeah, that is basically going to be it. So I will see you guys next time with another video.